My favorite movie from another country. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I have to choose. Uh, ooh. When the foreign film started to come to America, Ingmar Bergman was the answer. Winterlight, it's a Bergman film. It does a beautiful job of contrasting the beauty and the sacred in each person with the kind of absurd and disgusting and animalistic in each person. Fanny and Alexander, I think, is a Bergman that crisscrosses fable with horror, with family story, psychological study. I think City of God was one of the first films that I watched where it just really inspired me to become even more invested in just like the artistry and the history of film. Room at the Top, actress Simone Signore Ray. Her performance, I could feel her womanness and her greatness, her mothering and her strength and her soul. Seven Samurai by Kurosawa. Kurosawa was the Seven Samurai because the epicness of it and Kurosawa's uh, everything between the cinematography and also the performances. Life is beautiful. I don't think I've sobbed harder than when I watched that movie. The last train to Busan. It was just riveting, frightening, and totally believable. I'm not even gonna lie. When I watched the movie, I almost shed a thug tear. I thought they hit on a completely different note when it came to the whole zombie genre. Cold War by Pawel Pawelski, which is not how you say his name. And another is Capernaum by Nadine Labaki. I loved Mustang. I loved The Square. Entre New by Diane Curies. Fassbender's The Marriage of Maria Braun. I'm a romantic and I cried so hard at the end of Cyrano. El Hijo de la Novia. My mom is Argentinian and I hadn't been in Argentina since I was little and when I saw it, it kind of reconnected me back to Argentina. Amores Perros. It really gets you from the beginning, even from the opening of the film. Parasite. It's social commentary. It's humor, great characters wrapped in one. I got to work with Bong Joon-ho in a film called Okja. I've always had a huge crush on him ever since I saw Memories of Murder. A Man Called Ova was so life-affirming. Victoria De Sica's Bicycle Thief. And it awakened me to the possibility of cinema from all around the world having an impact on me in, in a very personal way.